There's an awful lot of businesses in New Zealand that are 20 to 50 employees, and outsource IT is that size as well. When a business is of that sort of size, it can actually make sense to have an in-house IT person. It can be justifiable to have someone full-time doing your IT support. But the problem with that is that anyone who's uh, a single full-time person has to have holidays, has to have time off for training, can call in sick. So what we do is we provide a team of people, uh, typically for around the same price as an in-house person would cost. And consequently, we can be in two or three places at once. We never get sick. Uh, we never have holidays. So by doing it the way Outsource IT deliver it, we just put the right person for each specific task into the site. It's generally the business owner that's making the decisions. And so I get involved. I'm the business owner at Outsource IT. And I've found that our clients actually really appreciate that they're dealing with the owner of the business. My background is an engineer, so I might have a bit of a slanted view of being a business owner, but it does mean that I can understand the running of their business and their technology, and it provides a really good interface between the business owner of our clients and my engineers, with me sitting right in the middle of that, uh, that area and dealing with both parties. One of Outsource IT's real strengths is the continuity of service that we've provided to our clients. Uh, we've still got our first ever managed services client uh, and part of the reason for that is I've got staff that have been with me for over 10 years. In our industry that's really unusual but what it means is my clients get my team really understanding their business. In uh, late 2007 my BNZ bank manager came to me and said that there was a, uh, a seminar or a half day workshop about business growth. I went along to uh, what was a, I think about a three hour seminar put on by a company, an organization called the Ice House that I hadn't heard of. What I came away from that realizing was that I'd neglected my training uh, since I'd stopped being a technical person and gone to managing a business. So I signed up for the Ice House Owner Manager Program to do it early in 2008. I was pretty nervous going into it, uh, sitting down in a room of 26 people, all of whom are business owners and all of whom I assumed would be better than me. You know, I'm actually just an engineer pretending to be a, a manager of a business. What actually turned out was there were 26 people in the room all with the same problems as, as I had. So as well as the, uh, the facilitators and the Ice House people, the value in the other people on the course was, was just great. The two things that all of us agreed that the Owner Manager Program gave us, which was clarity and permission. Um, Clarity just to be able to, to take a step back and know the value in taking a step back and looking at your business from outside and the permission to do stuff. It's taking motivated and potentially successful people and giving them another vehicle to enhance that success. For me, I'm, I'm not exaggerating, Ice House really saved my business. Uh, we, we sailed into 2009 with the whole lot looking quite shaky and we came out of 2009 really strong. Um, when I got out the end of my owner manager program in the middle of 08, uh, it was a bit depressing to think that I wasn't going to be able to escape with those uh, 26 new friends every, uh, every month. So we actually launched, our, our group launched a uh, get together every six months to carry on with that. And uh, I, I spoke, started speaking to the Ice House quite a bit about how they could be doing that for us and how they could be helping. And really, Ice House were great. Um, the facilitators stayed involved with our group. They provided input. They helped us find guest speakers. And what we've seen now is that they've launched the league. I've done a couple of the um, business growth seminars, um, a couple of the what they call intimate dinners where we get uh, guest speakers along who uh, are successful business people. It's just really motivational. If nothing else, it, it gets you back to work on Monday morning feeling like really putting some effort into keeping the good work going.